Hey, Mike Lawrence here. Come on, do some work with me. Do a little practicing with me. What I was, uh, my intent and purpose of this uh, little practice session here, I'm just going to let the tape run. Just show a little uh, practicing uh, format here that uh, you go through. My intent and purpose here was all about spine angle. Uh, I was just really working on keeping a good spine angle and keeping my hip level uh, in relation to my spine good. So what I was doing, I, I had my uh, iPad and I was just uh, actually watching myself in the iPad as I was uh, making these movements. What I was looking to feel, or what I am looking to feel here, is... Uh, once I get my ready position set up to it, I've at that point established my spine angle. So what I'm looking to do is to go ahead and make, initiate the go move, initiate that downswing while keeping a good spine angle. And if I in fact keep a good spine angle, then my uh, belt line is going to stay you know, perpendicular to uh, my spine angle, which is the way our hips are anatomically placed you know, and, it, and that's where our body is built anatomically. So you can see here how you know, I'm doing a pretty good job, kind of like this, of keeping, keeping a good spine angle. In other words, I'm not changing that spine angle. Um, and you can see my belt line is staying right there uh, as opposed to, let's say, my belt line flattening out through impact up in here with... Uh, my uh, butt coming in, uh, which I have a tendency to do. A lot of, a lot of players, a lot of golfers have a tendency to do that. So that's what I'm working on. That's the intent of this practice session. It's all about correct and sufficient repetition of movements that you're trying to make. When you're doing this kind of work, you should go ahead and make. This is technique-based practicing, where I'm more interested in the technique than I am the result of the shot. But I was actually hitting these balls pretty good, not even looking at the ball. I'm, uh, my focus is on what my body's doing, uh, so I'm not looking at the ball and actually hitting some pretty good shots. Some of them felt really good. This is what we mean in the R3 approach by doing technique-based practicing. You could do this indoors uh, with a net and some mirrors available to you. Or uh, you could do it on the range if there's a, uh, a mirror for feedback. Sun just came out there. Loving that. Okay. Again. Establish that spine angle, belt line, it's the ready position. Slow motion. All about having good feedback when we're practicing sometimes. Especially when we're doing technique based practicing. Again, the whole intent. My whole intent and purpose of this practice is all about spine angle. Ready position, set position, feeling that go move initiate, the downswing movement initiate. I'm just looking to uh, get the right feelings, sensations.
correct and sufficient repetition done slowly gives our brain a little better chance to truly process it as opposed to doing the same old thing over and over again and expecting different results which is the way most people tend to practice okay very good I went on of course and hit the rest of those balls but uh, this is just good technique based practicing with some good feedback from the iPad and again my intent and purpose you gotta have good intent and purpose to a practice session my intent and purpose here was all about spine angle keeping that good spine angle uh, as I actually made my golf swing okay uh, check out the R3 approach for lots of good uh, information uh, thoughts ideas and concepts about how to uh, genuinely improve your golf game all right let's keep doing good work now